Hallo und willkommen. Ich bin Meister Lehns and you're watching Get Germanized Berlin German vs. Germany German. Berlin Board, what should I do? Ah, ich weiß. Get Today we're going to talk about the dialect of Berlin, Berlinerisch, as we say in German. And uh, well, it's got some very interesting slang that is quite different from normal German. And so we're going to explore it today. And if you have any questions, leave them in the video description. Not in the video description, that's why I'm going to leave stuff. You're going to leave stuff in the comments, please do. And I'd say we'll just get started right away. Lasst uns anfangen. Some of these words we use in other parts of Germany as well, but they're also very specific to Berlinerisch. For example, Paletti. Paletti. Paletti means alles in Ordnung or alles erledigt in normal German and means, well, everything clear, everything done. Also, let me say that I am not from Berlin. Uh, I have no roots from Berlin at all. I, like, I, I know people that live in Berlin foreigners and Germans and some of them speak Berlinerisch uh, or at least partially they do because usually even those people tend to speak Hochdeutsch, the standard German, only the very very Berlin folk speaks Berlinerisch and that's okay of course but I'm just saying that I don't and so my pronunciation might not be 100% correct here. Alles erledigt, alles in Ordnung. Everything done everything okay. For example, after you moved somewhere and you unpacked all your boxes, you say alle paletti. Next up, pampig. Pampig in standard German is frech or anmaßend. So basically rude. You can use it like this. Nu werd mal hier nicht pampig. Nu werd mal hier nicht pampig. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, don't you go all rude on me or don't you become rude here. Or just don't be rude here. Next up, Pesen. Pesen means to run around or to be in a hurry. And in standard German this would be schnell rennen or es eilig haben. Pesen. Next up, Picheln. I actually talked about this word in a German slang word video beginning with the letter P before. Picheln, since it's not only used in Berlin, but in other parts of Germany too. So uh, yeah, anyway, but Picheln is also very specific to Berlin. Picheln means to drink a lot, for example, alcohol. In standard German, we would call this Saufen or just viel trinken, to drink a lot. Ah, yesterday war wir in Picheln. <laughs> yesterday uh, we drank a lot or yesterday we went drinking. Next up is a very funny one to me at least. I, I really like that one. It is called people. Not to be confused with the English people. People. People is a little boy, kleiner Junge, as we say in standard German, and can be used like this. Damals als kleine People haben wir schon ihn gepichelt. Even back then, as little boys, we drank one or drank something, alcohol. Well, that's just a made-up sentence. Obviously, I never did that. <coughs> Next up, another good one, Pillepalle. In standard German, Pillepalle is Schwachsinn or unsinn or unnötig. So basically nonsense or you could also call it unnecessary. Like the word means unnecessary but also nonsense. And you can use it in a sentence like this. Dit is doch pillepalle. Like that's stupid or that's unnecessary or that's nonsense. Next up, die Popelfahne. Die Popelfahne is the booger flag and as well as you probably have thought already the handkerchief or the uh, tissue <laughs> where you blow all your boogers into. Die Popelfahne. Hmm. Next up, another really good one is die Pullerbrause. Die Pullerbrause. Die Pullerbrause describes a drink that has lost all its bubbles or the sparkles, like sparkling water that has lost the sparkles, the carbonation or coca-cola or beer or anything really with carbonation um, and once it's flat, once it's still, you call it Pullerbrause if you expect it that it has carbonation especially. Pullerbrause, well if you translate that 
pullern is to urinate and brause is like soda kind of so <laughs> you get the gist it's a, it's a funny word kind of well and it refers to what we described before and here's how you can use it in a sentence. Was is denn dit für eine Pullerbrause? Schmeckt ja wie eingeschlafene Füße. What kind of Pullerbrause is this? Tastes like feet that have fallen asleep. By the way, that's also slang in German. If something tastes like like feet that have fallen asleep, uh, it's not good. It doesn't taste great. Next up. Rabatz. In Germany, German, this would mean Unruhe stiften or Lärm verursachen. To create noise or to make trouble. For example, Mann, mach mal hier nicht so ein Rabatz. Dude, don't create so much trouble here. Don't make so much noise here. Next up, Rabotten. Rabotten, well, is derived from Russian and is slang for working. Arbeiten in Germany, German. Boah, ey. Moin wieder Rabotten. Tomorrow I have to go to work again. Oh no. Oh man. Hm. Next up, Rin. Rin comes from the Germany German hinein or herein. So into, basically. Komm mal rin means come in in the Berlin dialect. Or kommen Sie rin, können Sie rauskicken. Come in, then you can look out. That's actually a German saying as well. Uh, come in, so then you can look out. Komm rein, dann kannst du rausgucken. Next up, Ruf. Ruf comes from herauf or hinauf. So up, basically. Komm mal ruf is come up. Easy. Next up, Sarg. That's Berlinerisch for der Sarg. The coffin. Ran an Sarg und mit dir wehnt. Go to the coffin and help, basically carry it. Next up, die Schnauze. In Germany, German, we would call this das Mundwerk or just der Mund, the mouth. Halt deine blöde Schnauze. Shut your stupid mouth, basically. And last but not least, Schnieke. In Germany, German, you would say das gefällt mir for das ist Schnieke. But you could also say das ist Schnieke, actually, since I mean, at least in many parts of Germany, people would know what this means. Schnieke refers to elegant or good. If someone is schnieke, then someone could have dressed very nice, very elegantly that day. Or if someone says, that is schnieke, then they could also mean that is good, that is great. Das ist gut. That is schnieke. That's great. So this is just a little test video. There's many more Berlin dialect uh, words. If you want to hear more, well, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe and leave a comment with well, other Berlin dialect words that you like especially or that you have heard about. Or if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section as well. Check out my Instagram, my social media in general, also linked in the video description. Support me on Patreon. Thanks to all my Patreon supporters for this episode and, and for basically all the upcoming episodes because without you, this wouldn't be possible. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for this. And I mean it. I don't just say this, I mean it. And apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get Germanized. Goodbye and auf Wiedersehen.